welcome back to my channel today. As you can see, Mark is pretty excited we're here. We're going to be doing this jailbreak video that so many people ha has like requested, like they've asked me to do this, and I'm going to be doing that for you. So let's uh, get started. And sorry for like any background noise, probably Mr. Charles over here. Um, he would be in the other room, but he's been sick these past few day these days. Um, so he's gonna be in here, munching away on his food or sleeping. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go through a few things before we begin, and one of those things is that we are going to be doing an untethered jailbreak, which means that if your phone dies or reboots, then it'll still be jailbroken, so that's like the best thing to do. There's tethered semi-untethered and untethered so we are going to be doing an untethered jailbreak now jailbreaking goes against the warranty on your iDevice so it's better to do it on an old device that doesn't have a warranty on it anymore so if it does and it's jailbroken and you end up breaking it then they will not take it back or something like that. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Let's get on with it. Hey, it's one of your pilots. He's so cute. I love him so much. So everything is going to be linked in the description. So the first thing we are going to be doing is going to Google or whatever um, internet thing you have. And we are going to be downloading Red Snow, the latest version, which is um, 0 0.9, this one. We're going to be downloading this one. And whatever you have, just click on it and it will download. I've already downloaded it, so it will look like this when it's done. So that's the first thing we will download. The second thing is your device's IPS. W, which is like a firmware file. So I'm using an iPod Touch, so you can see. And um, I will have like three links. I'll have one for iPod, iPhone, and iPad, all down below. So click on whatever device you have. Go to whatever version you have. So like 3G, 4G. Mine is iPod Touch 4G. So I will go to iPod Touch 4G and you want to get iOS 6. My device is at version 6.1.6. And but we want to download iOS 6 firmware. So we will go click that one. It will look like this when you're done. Um, if it looks like something else, I will explain why. You need to have iTunes 11 to do this. Now I had iTunes 12 and I was very confused because like it wasn't working and I was like, what's going on? And this happened like, I mean it worked last time. So you want to download iTunes 11. This is 11.1.4 that will be linked in the description also. So yes. Those three things you gotta download. Okay, so with the Red Snow thing, go to Red Snow. Oh, we have to open it first. Open it, extract it. Okay, so after that, open it again and go to where it says application. Right click it, go down to properties compatibility and make sure so check in compatibility mode um, check it and click on Windows XP service pack 3 apply press ok and there we go we got that uh -huh. 
So go ahead, open that up, click on Extras, select IPSW, and select the iOS 6 Restore. I have like three of them. Jeez. This is five. Okay, open. And it should say, the following build was identified. It will be used for the rest of this Resno session. Click OK. Now go back. And click on Jailbreak. It, it will prepare it. Kernels. Patching the kernel. Now some of this stuff will just speed up. Your now make sure it says install Cydia the battery percentage that's and that that doesn't really matter so now we will be entering DFU mode so make sure your device is off we'll be turning off there we go it is off so now just follow the directions on the screen so hold down the power button now, press the home button for 10 seconds, like it says on the screen, and then after, we will be releasing the power button, and keep on holding the home button. It worked! So, now you can just release it. There we go. And then your screen will look kind of bluish and it should look like this that is the jailbreak it says downloading jailbreak data and this will happen don't worry the first time I saw it I got so scared I was like what is going on did I just break my iPod but don't worry Now we wait. And now it will look like this. So after that, after it comes back on again, we will go back with extras extras I can't speak at all so now just click just boot and do the same thing again turn it off after it is off we will be entering DFU mode again I'm gonna take this case off it doesn't work so again Follow the same steps as we did before. Hold down the power button. Now click on, press the home button for 10 seconds. Now release the power button until this happens. Okay. So there we go, we do that, and again with the blue screen, and then you will see this pineapple instead of the apple logo, because that's how you know it's gel broken, yo. Now we just wait. Okay, so now it is back on. Unlock, jeez. What I do, break it? And there we go. Cydia should be downloaded. Let me show you that again. There is Cydia, it is now downloaded, and there you go, 
Your device is jailbroken. We did it, guys. We did it. And yeah. Oh, now after it will say this, press on user. Because you're not a hacker. Well, I am. I'm just kidding. And your screen will look like this. So there you go. How to jailbreak your iPod. Woo! Try to be quiet. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment below if I should um, do one about jailbreaking your iPhone 4 or like devices that are iOS 7 and up. And I will do it. It's, it's very easy to, to do this. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, that's it. I hope you find this video helpful. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Love the running pineapple.